Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Houseplant Pixie. For everyone that's new to my channel, my name is Monique and welcome back and thanks for tuning back in to my existing subscribers. Today's video is about Philodendron Florida Beauty. I'll give you an update. It's been a year or a bit longer and I can't even remember. The previous video was, I think, about this plant only. Well, my Florida beauty journey started with a single cutting and it was nice and variegated and then it grew out of variegation. So that was a fail, but that can happen. And this guy in the previous video, I showed you how I potted it up. And I think it's only had like, I'd have to lie, maybe those bottom leaves. I'm pretty sure all of these are new. That was a little bit of a worry because it's lots of variegation, but then the one after had a bit more green. So it is a bit of a gamble with variegation, as you all know. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I love it. Um, and what also can happen, but this plant is about two years cutting time well, when it was a cutting and then developed it's roughly two years old it's fairly fast growing and it needs another repot we repotted that together about a year ago i won't repot it today i'm just going to show you an update and how it's been going so with variegation the other problem you have if you over or underwater, your variegation could turn brown. So to be safe, I would always say rather underwater a bit. But with those clear pots, it's super easy. And you even see, I'm not sure if you can see that, that there's little water drops. So I would still hold off on watering that. And also if you plant, see the water drops here. It's called gutation, so if the plant's doing that, it's got plenty of water. I have to say I did probably overwater that a little bit, which you can see on one leaf, and this is this one here. But all you do, you take the scissors and you're going to cut around it. And then actually, we do that right now. I would use scissors, not really um, secretaries. Let's see if we... And yeah, so that's what I would just do. Same with this one here, trying to keep the leaf shape a bit and round that a bit. If it but if if it bothers you, if it doesn't bother you, I want to show you the other other little swirl. Whoever remembers, <laughs> Millie was sitting on the table in the video one year ago, and she was really small. She's still small. <laughs> Uh, come here, Millie. Millie. She's a bit grown up now. She looks so big in videos, but she's actually a tiny, tiny weeny, weeny. Right? You want to show everyone how grown up you are? The sweetest dogs, Italian greyhounds. She's not a whippet, she's an Italian greyhound. She's about a year and a half old now, and I just love her. The bits so yeah if you would like a video about my dogs just let me know i also got a husky cross mastiff which you've probably seen in my videos and these guys are super with my plants i'm just going to pick up the sleeve so yeah that can be just cut off and i also want to show you i can't quite remember i've got the second one i'm just going to show you fairly cheap. I was so excited. It was on an auction and I just jumped on it and I just got it and I never, I don't think I mentioned it in the previous video. Um, it's this one here. It didn't have, uh, it might have like too much irrigation. Um, pretty good, but it could have turned the other way. 
God like. And have a look how absolutely beautiful this plant. It's growing, it's thriving, and it's it's quite like a little sorry. <clears throat> it's a little bit embarrassing. It is <laughs> badly neglected, but I just want to show you. You don't have to overcare, and this is wood bound. If your plant get to this stage. You don't need to worry. I'm probably going to report this soon. Um, but yeah, maybe don't let it get that bad. Um, uh, yeah, that is due to be reported. But not even the variegation is affected. It's still growing well. New leaf is coming. You can see that here. Beautiful. And yeah, look at the variegation. It's just like, just keep in mind with these guys, they are under my grow lights and this one is in a um, window where it gets indirect bright light. So it doesn't get direct light because if you put a variegated plant into a window where the sunlight hits the window, it will burn the leaf. If it's east facing, that's fine and we'll get the morning sun and that's okay, I would say but not a west facing window, it will destroy the plan. I got this as a cutting and I'm just amazed how quickly it's grown. And to show you that I'm not tricking you guys, this is the other. So out of the two, I think this one is probably a bit faster growing. Uh, I don't know, I can't, I would have to, yeah, I would have to lie, but this one is definitely an older plant and this one is a younger one, but yeah, I'm not quite sure if I showed you this guy in my first video, I don't think so because I'm pretty sure I got that after, which I have double and I shouldn't but people that have plants know what it's like and yeah Florida beauty is just absolutely amazing yeah what else is there to say um, again you see the water drops on this one just right there so I'm holding off and this still looks fairly wet there was still water sitting in the bottom there, which yeah, I'll probably stay away from watering. It all depends like what the conditions are in your house and you will figure out with time like if it's fairly warm or if you have um, your house heated with wood fire then you probably need to water more regularly. Just keep an eye on your plant, they usually talk to you, They and good indication that they need water, that leaf on the axle will droop a bit. Every single leaf is so different. Let's just let's just admire all the leaves, shall we? Oh just look at it. So pretty. And the other one? They're so different. Uh, this one here has a bit more variegation and the leaf, leaves are fairly bigger. If you are, I guess, very similar. That's the one we cut. Still looks fine. This one. Just like Mother's Nature painting. So good. <laughs> So amazing. So the other plant had a bit of a webbing on it. I wouldn't be too concerned that it's spider mite. If it was spider mite, all the green, I'll just show you. All the green, all the green on these leaves would have 
um, discoloration. That's what spider mites do. They sort of um, literally draw out the life, the grain out of the plants. See that little webbing here? I think it's just a spider and we might just leave them there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Until then, stay plenty. Bye.